Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new coming-of-age drama, Boundary Waters, from writer-director Tessa Blake, who has a history of a lot of television work, and here tells the story of Michael, played by Etienne Kalicki, who's a young man who's, you know, exploring the boundary waters of northern Minnesota with his friends in the summer. It has those trappings of that coming-of-age story. It's shot really beautifully. You see how nature just comes to life on screen here, and really, Michael shouldn't be worrying about anything else. But unfortunately, a secret that's really affecting his mother, and to extension his father and his grandmother, becomes such a big, growing sore and soon starts affecting the reputation around town and affecting their small community. Which, because one of the things that I feel like Blake and her co-writer Jennifer Menocherian, based off of the novel by Lisa O'Donnell, are able to do is capture that small town kind of environment and culture where, you know, the littlest thing can start growing into a pretty big thing. And this story really affects them on a deep level. You see the complexity in the situation that Michael is dealing with at only 12 years old. There's tension that builds with his close friend who you could definitely tell that he has feelings for, Alice, played by Kennedy Butler. And I love their dynamic. I do feel like some of the dialogue in this for some of the young people sounds a little like, hey, we're trying to preach at you sounds a little too like, hey, they sound like adults talking through 12-year-old bodies. But the message is still impactful. The message is still poignant. And I feel like through the performance of Allison Miller, who plays Michael's mother, there's just so much going on there in that performance, so many underlying emotions and complexities in terms of this situation and how it's really tearing her apart inside. You have Bill Heck, who plays the father, who, who's unemployed. From the outside looking in, seems like he's a, not a great man, and you worry about what he's capable of. But there's complexities to him, too. And Carol Kane, who plays Granny in this, Love her. She's fantastic. It's just those performances from, to a pretty far extent, the young actors in this film who are saddled with some heavy topics to be able to navigate, but also the likes of Miller and Kane add so many layers to this story. Sure, I feel like by the end, this film is being a little too on the nose with its messaging, but how it tells its story, it leverages subtlety and slowly starts peeling layers back onto what's really going on, and it's shocking. It's emotional. There's some really key moments in this film that hit with that emotion in such an impactful way. And this is a moving and poignant film with a great coming-of-age story at the center with ripples of bigger and broader themes that come together to make this a pretty rich experience and a pretty impressive effort from Tessa Blake. But those are my thoughts on Boundary Waters. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.